Hello everyone, welcome back to the Geekvolution Omnibus. I am Captain Logan. And I'm Eric. This was originally supposed to be a Transformers theme show, but we ended up with way too much of other things we that didn't we do had to do this time, so outside of the, except outside of the for the one game. thing we said we would. Yeah. Uh, a little bit later in the program, we're going... Hi everybody, how you doing? A little bit later in the program, we're going to uh, review Last Stand of the Wreckers, and uh, this is kind of, the, I guess, like the biggest, most well-known Transformers comic thing, because I've heard of it, and I can't think of anything else I've heard of. Yeah, so I that must be the case. It was a big deal when it came out. I, I, I myself and a lot of other people have said, yeah, like, like you know, this guy outstrips them, like, this is the best Transformers thing. There are obviously uh, lots more great Transformers comics by the same guy, and uh, there's uh, two more records things after this. Apparently this is a trilogy, or is it considered It is that? two minis and a one-shot. Okay. An oversized one show. Interesting. Okay. So, uh, down the road, there could finally actually be a Transformers theme show, uh, but we saw the writing on the wall about a week after we recorded the last Omnibus, uh, where, and I'm sure this isn't a big deal to anybody, because I didn't hear from anybody but David Crabtree um, about, about uh, being excited that we were doing the Transformers theme show, and then I told him that, yeah, sorry, we're not going to be able to do that, and he's like, oh, I'm so crushed, uh, but... We'll, uh, we'll maybe do that down the road, but um, a bunch of stuff snuck up on me. Um, the Spider-Man PS4 game came out, which I finally finished the story of today, and I'm going to talk about later on the program. Uh, we got hit with Iron Fist, which we've not finished, and we will talk about briefly later. Eric and I are on the fence about whether or not we're actually going to review the whole thing. I don't want to finish it. I don't either. And there's our review, but we will yeah. uh, we'll talk about what we've seen so far on Primetime Crisis for five or ten minutes. Uh, but like, I know a lot of people have said like, it's so much better than the first season. I saw um, I saw one article that said like how uh, Marvel Netflix turned its worst show into its best, and I'm like four episodes in, I'm not seeing that. And if it becomes that, you did not win me over early enough. Mm -hmm. Like. Mm -hmm. That, I don't we'll know. Talk, we'll so talk about it. We'll, we'll talk about it, and I'm saying a lot of things that I'll say later, yeah. but uh, I guess, I guess I'm, I'm sort of giving an apology right now, saying that might not happen, because yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to either. Um, I don't care. So, like, I don't know. If it ends up happening, it will be because I go ahead and, out of curiosity, look at another episode and I might finish it, but I, I don't know if that'll happen. Mm. Um, cause I, cause We're I probably not going to waste our time watching it together like we did for the four episodes. Exactly. Yeah, probably not. We have other things to do. So anyway, uh, but other things on the program tonight, uh, we're going to talk about the new Predator movie. Uh, the Predator. The Predator, and um, we're going to do the next volume in Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, that's the other thing we have for this the vol volume today. Three. We've got a couple of um, requests we'll do today, uh, some movies together a little bit separately, and then a, a couple things um, I did myself. Uh, and I'm going to start doing some of, and I've already done a little bit, uh, some of the requests on my own outside of the omnibus so that we can try to slim this down a little bit if at all possible because uh, these eight hour shows are becoming kind of impossible for me to do with a baby in the house mm. so anyway I uh, so with that in mind let's go ahead and get into a couple of real quick announcements uh, Eric we have passed the $700 mark on Patreon that's right and I wanted to say thanks so much to our patrons for helping us out with our all of our programming uh, in that way so uh, for each $50 goal as you know, I uh, do a, um, I, I promise another movie on the queue for Superhero Rewind or some kind of topic if I do a list thing. Mm -hmm. And um, the one for 700 was uh, a re-review of the 87, 87, excuse me, of the 1990 Ninja Turtles movie um, because that's that's one of the shorter ones and I have things in that that I'm not even sure I agree with myself on anymore. So I kind of want to redo that. Uh, but I don't have anything yet for 750. So I thought I would put Eric on the spot and let Eric pick it on camera what you're gonna right do now. For yeah. Is what, it a, does it have to be a re or is it a? It doesn't have to be a, a, a re review. It, it just needs to be um, a, 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 a movie in the superhero category. Um, uh, anything you know that I haven't done yet? Um, can I do one that I'm pretty sure you said you weren't gonna do? But oh, no. It, it should count anyway. Like that I wasn't gonna do at all. Yeah, but it should count anyways. Can I can I throw something out there? Um, yeah, I mean, I uh, reserve the right to veto. Like, try yeah. to pick something people would be excited about, if at all possible. Okay, well, I'm looking at, I'm looking at, I'm looking but, at the shelf. Uh, you did the first one. I, I want, I want them to kill for. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, the problem with that is just, I was wrong about it. I was weird to do as a superhero rewind. I but agree. I guess, but I guess the second one wouldn't be any weirder than the first one was. Like, I'm sure I can still look at it through that lens. 
I'm just I'm looking at things that you haven't done yet. Yeah. The, are is this a major motion picture that people might actually be excited about? Yeah. You know, or an animated thing, or because you're certainly not going to put like Spirit of Vengeance at seven fifty. I mean, I could. I don't know if anybody would care. Well, you've done all the major animated things, like other than people like like people. I don't know. Like, like there's the, there's the Batman, uh, uh, Batman and Damien trilogy. Well, there's actually quite a bit of the things before that that I've not done. So, like, I haven't done uh, Superman vs. the Elite. You've not done DKR. Uh, well, that's on the short list, though. Okay. Because that was chosen by the Rewind Selection Board. That, that's going to be in the next three or four. Uh, but I haven't done Superman vs. the Elite. I haven't done uh, Crisis on Two Earths. Like, some of those early ones that are yeah. decent, I've not done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I gotta think about Dame to Kill for it. And it's funny that you would say that because you're like, well, you're not gonna put Spirit of Vengeance there. Dude, Dame to Kill for it made like $14. That's like, true. That's true. People would be less interested in seeing that. I don't know than Spirit of Vengeance. I love Spirit of Vengeance. I've never met anyone else that does. No, but they probably think it would be funny to see a, a, a review of. Like, That's true. I don't know if that would be a horrible thing to put there. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking about putting that on the short list. It lost to anyway, Scooby Doo <laughs> in the in the voting for a Halloween rewind. Oh, that's true. Show. It did. <laughs> that's a good point. Okay, so this is a work in progress. Um, I just thought it'd be amusing to see what you would say. But, yeah, I just um, I don't have any uh, I don't have any major. Okay. Well, maybe maybe, we'll maybe uh, people like that Green Lantern Emerald Knights. I don't think you've ever watched that. I I've haven't. never watched it either. I've never watched that. Maybe maybe that might be something. Okay. Yeah, we do that. Maybe you could watch it with me and see if it's any good. I, I've, heard I, good, I've heard good things when, when I watch it, came it out, rewind, but yeah. I never heard anyone talk about it again. Like, when it came out, I remember people like, this is actually pretty good. Okay. But it never comes I'll out. I'll put that there. Sure. I'll do I'll do that. Sure. Yeah. You can watch it with me. We'll All see right. if it's any good. Yeah. Uh, so, what happens in Alan Moore's story? I just finished uh, the Daredevil Rewind, of course. I'm working on the top 50 performances video, so that will be out within uh, the next couple of weeks. And um, what else is going on? I, I just did a pilot for um, Superhero Rewatch, which went really well. I did the first episode of Arrow, and um, I, I put out uh, feelers to see if people would prefer that or like a dedicated new show. Mm -hmm. And it looks like more people are interested in the rewatch idea. Interesting. So um, I don't know how often I'm going to do those, uh, but at the moment I'm going to leave news the way it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have... I don't think I have enough time to add a second show weekly, which would be the way I would need to do that, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So the rewatch thing, I'm going to go ahead and uh, say I'm going to start doing and I'm going to do it every now and again. Uh, it won't it won't be every week. It won't necessarily be twice a month, but I'm going to do it as often as I can. And um, hopefully we can get you in on a couple of yeah. those. Uh, maybe that's how we'll do Hellboy, because people keep asking for Hellboy. Okay. That might be a cool way to do that. Sure. But um, the only difference with those is just they're live and people can watch the feed with us, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, and when there's dead air, we have comments to read. It's really nice. Like, when you're not sure what you want to say about this scene, it's like, oh, cool, I have things I can talk about. Uh, so that is uh, kind of the news that's fit to print here. Um, so let's go ahead and go on now to the um, to the fan art segment. And uh, Eric, we got three pieces of fan art today. And the first one is from Henry Martins. That's pretty cool. I know this, exactly the shot that that's from. Yeah, I uh, I think this is the third uh, picture that he's given us that he's doing with pencils and uh, making it look like three dimensional with a lot of depth and yeah, it's really uh, cool. super impressive. I told him I wasn't going to feature this this week because I want to use it on uh, uh, an eighty nine video that's coming up in the not too distant future. But I decided to go ahead and show it first because sure. it's so good. Uh, but I probably will still be utilizing that for a video. And then um, this next one comes from Manuel. He's also given us some, um, Manuel Alanis, he's also given us some stuff in the past, but uh, in honor of the Daredevil Rewind, we've got some Daredevil. That's not Daredevil, hold on. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, but there's uh, Daredevil on the end of a roof, nice. and then there's uh, just just uh, written on, uh, drawn on line paper. I think, I always think it's fun when people do that, when they just draw on line paper. <coughs> Looks like something maybe he was doing when he wasn't paying attention in class or yeah, something. Like, yeah, I, I like that. And then uh, here's Matt Murdock. Oh, that's cool. It looks really good. Those are cool. And then uh, that was the original uh, Netflix thing. The the poster. Yeah. Well, like 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 how like Netflix has an image or you know, when you sit on it before like, you click on it. Yeah. Yeah. It was that, and I remember. I think they had a that was also on a poster maybe, but I'm not sure. I, so I remember they did that, and then like two days after it dropped. It switched to a, to him in, in the costume. I was like, that's kind of a spoiler. You you kind of rushed that. Um, 
Because like yeah. we we didn't even you're right we had no idea what that costume was gonna look like until you get to that episode. Yeah, like, there were no pictures. It would have been no... yeah, and they were really careful not to yep, give yep, it away. Yep. That like two been days nice. later, they did it themselves. I still say, and I said this in the rewind. I still say it's a little odd that they didn't go with a costume that looked a little bit more comic book, given that they give you the comic book costume in the intro. Mm -hmm. Like it looks like that costume. Yeah, yeah. And then what they—I never thought of that, but you're right. Then what they, they what they go for is kind of a deviation, and I don't hate it. Some people really dislike it. I don't love it. I mean, I, if like, it's the tone, of that, I think it's practical. Series. I think it looks really good. For, yeah, I think it makes sense for the tone of that series. Mm. But I feel like I was teased with with that with that image of the comic book costume. Mm -hmm. no, that's fair. I wouldn't have thought of that, but that, no, that's totally fair. Especially because the show is so authentic. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like I feel like I'm reading Daredevil comics, mm -hmm. and then we get to that, and it's like, oh yeah, it's a TV show, and uh, we we want it to not like uh, uh, it doesn't have enough of a budget to do it, but just like you know, you know, it's it's a it's a grounded TV show, so mm -hmm. it's got to have that yeah. grounded with ninjas. Yeah, um, that will be the name of my next album, Grounded with ninjas. With ninjas yeah, uh, if you'd like to support our programming here on Geek Geekvolution, go to patreoncom slash Geekvolution. Just two dollars a month gets you access to Geekvolution After Dark, uh, which is a series that Eric and I make twice a month. It's uncensored. We talk about all kinds of things all around uh, the geeky spectrum and more and and randomness and things we'd never talk about here on the channel. Uh, we just put one out last week, so go check that out. And we and and by the time this is up, we'll be really close to another one. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll have shot another one next week. So. Mm -hmm. um, um, so uh, check that out, and we uh, you also get access to uh, early episodes of Superhero Rewind, now three days earlier instead of just one, uh, so a little bit more bang for your buck there, and all kinds of other stuff at just the $2 tier, uh, and there's other tiers with other great perks, so go check it out. Uh, we're going to move on now to Geeks Not Nerds, so uh, if you're watching in the playlist, just let this continue and you'll see GNN right away. And uh, we'll see you again in just a little bit. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I'm Captain Logan. Right. See you in a bit.